NASA's Orion space capsule has splashed down into the Pacific Ocean this Sunday after 27 days of circling the moon. The return is part of Artemis One, the first of a series of missions which will test NASA's ability to return astronauts to the lunar surface after 50 years. A mission scheduled for 2025 hopes to send a woman and a person of colour to the moon for the very first time. Well, let's go now to a city that has a rich aerospace history. Toulouse is the home of French aviation giant Airbus, and it's also where we find France 24's Chris Bockman. Chris, over to you. Thanks, Fraser. We're actually in a mock-up of what the moon should be like right now, The moon, and we were on the soil here, and I'm with Christophe Chavaudon, who's an um, engineer with City de Space. First of all, just very quickly, it splashed down um, the vessel, Orion. How did you do? Yeah, but honestly, it was a big success. We were plenty of people here in City de l'Espace to attend this event. We got a, a lot of uh, uh, children, a lot of families, because that, that's an historic step for uh, the return on the moon, and it was successful. Well, so we saw the capsule in the uh, Pacific Ocean. Everything went well, and uh, it was also a big success for the Eurospace Space Agency. So what's important is that this is the first, it was a, it's like almost like a dummy run. So the next one that will take off in two years from now, yep. roughly, will have astronauts. Yep. And then a third one will take yep. off and they'll actually land on the moon. What, if this was a success, why don't we just skip the middle stage and go straight to the moon on the next one? Oh, we have to check because, of course, the guys from NASA and, and ESA as well will check a lot of things. And especially, you know, they tested also some uh, deaths to protect the astronauts against the radiations because cosmic radiations are really a problem for the astronauts for the long travel uh, to the moon. So there are a couple of things to, to check. And then afterwards, so 24, maybe 25, it will be exactly the same, but with four astronauts in the capsule, three American, one Canadian, and Canada is also participating in the, in the Artemis mission. So 24, 25, and then for the Artemis three, that means a, man, a woman on the moon, 26, 27, we're not okay. there yet. But Fraser, what I think our audience really is excited about, want to know about is, it's, okay, we've done the moon, that was done 50 years yeah. ago, but this is really a launch pad. The idea is to yeah. go to Mars, for real. We've been talking about it for decades. This is really a test, get to the moon, use the moon and everything we've learned there to get to Mars. That's what you were talking about, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, of course. That's uh, that, that's the first step also, huh? because uh, returning to the moon is not so easy. So that's why maybe the Americans do not that on their own as they did uh, during the Apollo missions, no, they, they need also the other space agency, like uh, the, the European space agencies. But it's the first steps, and then maybe one day we will be able to go to the Mars. But it's not already done. And the other thing, Fraser, is that even though the Europeans and NASA are working together, there's a lot of competition right now. There's a lot of busy commercial activity taking place. The Indians are involved. The Chinese are also going yeah. to the moon. Yeah. So there's a lot They're, of people. It's going to get crowded. Yeah, <laughs> in a way. The Chinese are their own program. Huh? We, we, we don't speak about that too much, but they are their own program. They go slowly and maybe they will be able also to go to the moon, maybe after the 30s. But anyway, what we could see and observe here is Cité de in Toulouse is this, uh, you know, uh, engagement with people and the society is more and more interested uh, as we saw uh, this afternoon with all these families about the, this moon adventure. There you go, Fraser. So that's the latest. Of course, we'll be catching up in a couple of years' time as we see the astronauts going just around the moon, uh, circling it, and then, of course, a few years after that, a landing in the moon again. So we'll touch base again, Fraser, for that occasion. A whole new space race certainly underway then. Chris, thank you so much for that update there from Toulouse.